Hello and welcome to this video on how to monitor a Unix process using the Petrol for Unix and Linux game. To start with, we need to add an infrastructure policy. In the Add Monitor configuration, choose Unix and Linux in the Monitoring Solution, the Version and Unix Processes under the Monitor Profile. Now, choose Unix Processes in the Monitor Type and click on Add to configure the process manually. When the process that you want to monitor is running on a local computer where the petrol agent is running, do not change the default value which is localhost. However, if the process you want to monitor is running on a remote computer, then specify the respective host name here. Now, click on Add to enter the configuration of the particular process that you want to monitor. The process label is just an identifier under which data is displayed. In this field, specify the command line representation of the process. Regular expressions are also supported. For this video, we have created a test process as an example. The minimum and maximum count are values for an alert to be generated if it drops below or exceeds above the numbers specified here. In this field, you can enter the name of the user who owns the process. Select this checkbox to filter processes based on the process owners. Select this checkbox if the process should have their parent process ID as one. Similarly, select this checkbox in order to filter those processes with parent ID as 1. Now, let us move to the process restart options. If the KM detects that the process has stopped, you can use this option to automatically restart it. The KM uses the value specified in the command execution attempts to determine how many times it will try to restart a process. To start or stop the process, you must provide the relevant commands here. Also, these fields indicate the user ID under which these commands must be executed. Now let's go through the process alert options. If you wish to delay an alert, select the number of collection intervals after which an alert should be generated. You can choose either alarm or warning as the process alert state for when the alert is generated. Now click on OK and save the policy. We will start a few instances of the test process and then check its value. As you can see, I have started three instances of the test process. Now, let's go to the TrueSight console and check if the KM is able to detect three instances of this process. As you can see from this graph, the KM has successfully discovered three instances of the process running on this server. You can also see an event generated for this process because the value specified in the maximum field has been exceeded. I have now stopped all three instances of the process. Let's go and check the graph if the KM is able to detect this. As you can see in the graph, the value of the number of processes has moved from 3 to zero since all the instances of the processes are now stopped. Thank you for watching this video on how to configure a Unix process for monitoring using the Petrol for Unix and Linux KM.